Well, it was an unfortunate jump for that ball on Vladimir Putin. Let's take a look at the clip. There's an election in Russia for the successor to President Putin. What can you tell me about the man who's going to be Mr. Putin's successor? Well, I can tell you that he's a hand-picked successor, that he is someone who is obviously being installed by Putin. Who will it be? Do you know his name? Uh, um, Medvedev, whatever. Yes. Yes. Interesting. So, Tim, assess for us, if you could, Obama's response to that. Well, it was fascinating. When I put the question out there, they both looked at me, and then Senator Obama looked at her. <laughs> and I was curious as to, I thought, I fully expected Senator Clinton to say, you know, Brock, why don't you go ahead? Mm -hmm. uh, but it didn't happen. She decided that she wanted to uh, speak about it. The interesting thing, Mika, is that... Uh, it's imperative that uh, we begin to have a more realistic and effective strategy uh, toward Russia. But I have no doubt as president, even though technically uh, the meetings may be with the man who is labeled as president, the decisions will be made by Putin. Who will it be? Do you know his name? Uh, um, Medvedev, Med whatever. Yes. Yes. Senator Obama, you know anything about him? Well, the, uh, I think Senator Clinton uh, uh, speaks accurately about him. Uh, yes, I, I agree with Hillary that we've got to initiate bold diplomacy. Senator Obama, you did in 2004 talk to par farmers and su suggest that NAFTA had been helpful. The Associated Press today ran a story about NAFTA saying that you're, you have been consistently ambivalent towards the issue. Simple question. Will you as president say to Canada and Mexico, this has not worked for us, we are out? I will make sure that we re renegotiate in the same way that Senator Clinton talked about. And I think actually Senator Clinton's answer on this one is right. I think we should... You, you had said in a previous CNN debate that you would meet with the leaders of Cuba, Iran, North Korea, among others. So presumably you would be willing to meet with the new leader of Cuba. That's correct. Uh, uh, now, keep in mind that the starting point for our policy in, in Cuba should be the liberty of the Cuban people. And I think we recognize that that liberty has not existed uh, throughout the Castro regime. And we now have an opportunity to potentially change uh, the relationship between the United States and Cuba after over half a century. Uh, I would meet uh, without preconditions, although Senator Clinton is right that there has to be preparation. Here's an area where I agree with Hillary. Uh, that, ...that once again gives Americans a feeling that they have a president who cares about them and can produce results for them, and that's what I intend to do. I'm, I'm going to let both of the senators the other senators respond. Then we'll take a quick break. But go ahead, Senator Obama. Uh, well, Hillary's right. I do think it is important to recognize that uh, this can be tough, and the question is, who is going to tackle this problem and solve it? Many of the uh, solutions that Senator Clinton just talked about are solutions that I agree with that I've been working on for many years.